natural hierarchy. As above, so below. The Satanist views human society as terraced into various strata to which people gravitate during the course of their lives. The principle of stratification is in operation in human society worldwide and also within the confines of the Church of Satan. The meaning of stratification is that individuals rise to the level of achievement that they deserve via their capabilities and their exercising of them. Their exercising of them. This is an example of justice in action, another important principle of satanic practice. Each person is naturally endowed with a different level of raw talent. However, to Satanists, the cultivation of these abilities determines an individual's worth. This must not be confused with a person's self-evaluation. You alone can determine how you are fulfilling your chosen life goals. And this must be by your own standards. Judging yourself by other standards is for the rabble. Your own satisfaction should be paramount. It is also natural to wish to be esteemed by those who have won your respect. That many people desire to be judged according to our standards is evidenced by the many letters received asking, How can I advance in the Church of Satan? Well, here's the answer. We judge our members with ruthless candor, with ruthless candor, equating their achievements in the real world to their worth. Thus, to advance in the Church of Satan, you must be applying your talents towards measurable achievements in your chosen fields, your chosen fields of endeavor. After all, Satanism is an elitist religion. So if you desire recognition, you must prove to us that you are a being who excels at something notable. It is not our intention to encourage members to seek position in our organization. Ambitious new members should look to advancing their own lives, for by doing so, they will be living proof of the superiority of Satanists to the general masses. This is primarily how you can help the Church of Satan by demonstrating that you can live a joy-filled and productive life through the satanic philosophy you will help to spread our ideas to the worthy few whom you will contact in your day-to-day -day life. Let those who respect your achievements know that you are a Satanist and you will be advancing the public reputation of the Church of Satan. In turn, such successful members who keep us apprised of these doings will be granted recognition. Granted recognition, which is a fringe benefit, not an end in itself. We've seen over the years that those who come to us eager for titles are only persons who have failed in meeting the demands of the real world, having no significant achievements, now seeking some form of ego bolstering to make up for their slack. They do not meet our criteria for advancement. When not given unearned laurels, they depart in a huff. And that is as it should be. We do not require our first level registered members to prove anything to us. The desire to join indicates that you stand out from the herd enough to want to call yourself a Satanist, which is no small step. But this does not mean that you are automatically the top of the heap. All kinds of individuals join our organization for their own reasons. Some demonstrate that they have only a rudimentary grasp of the philosophy of Satanism. So long as membership pleases them, that is wonderful. But we won't be putting them forward as paragons. Others come to us after having made names for themselves that are quite impressive. That prowess is deeply appreciated and will be acknowledged. To be successful as a Satanist, one must live one's life in a manner that fulfills one's values. One must live one's life in a manner that fulfills one's values. If your life is joyful, you have achieved an important goal. 
However, if a member of the Church of Satan wishes to be elevated, he must measure up to very high standards to take a place amongst a cadre of superior individuals. New registered members receive an application for active membership, our way of getting a picture of you as an individual, or at least of what image you wish to portray of yourself. We do not initially know what is accurate or exaggeration from our first reading. After submitting this, we might wait for the member to prove certain claims by submitting evidence of his abilities. At times, we will request a sample of something that you have mentioned that seems of interest. We also wait to see whether you are working to move on with your life towards your stated goals, because static people are not material for advancement in our organization. Because static people are not material for advancement in our organization. If this application is accepted, you are deemed an active member. First degree. All degrees beyond this first level are by invitation only. Anton LeVay formulated our system of degrees during the early years of the Church of Saint. It was a general practice in many prior social and esoteric organizations. He mandated that the standards for elevation in our Church were based not on mysticism or occultism, but on knowledge of practical subjects beyond Satanism, and even more than that, on the application of such wisdom towards measurable ends. Dr. LeVay experimented by designating the specific colors for medallions that could be worn by each member according to degree. And for a time, written exams were given to assess a member's readiness for a particular level. In the mid-1970s, it became clear that many members had become obsessed with jockeying for position, being overly concerned with their place in the organization rather, rather than working towards advancement in the world outside. This was contrary to our carnal philosophy's emphasis on tangible personal progress. Tangible personal progress. And so, after that point, the existence of the degrees was de-emphasized in church literature, and formulaic methods for recognition were jettisoned. Our church is unique as a loose cabal of individualists, and our protocol for member interaction is based on the paradigm of a mutual admiration society. We do not expect all of our highly individualistic members to like each other, but we do require that they behave as ladies and gentlemen when mingling in all situations and forums, situations and forums, online and face to face. Interaction is never required, and in the case of extreme disagreement, wherein civility apparently cannot be maintained, we expect involved members to cease confrontation with each other. To cease confrontation with each other. Violation of this standard can be grounds for expulsion. Today we maintain our traditional degrees, but these should not be seen as initiatory steps which are expected of our members. The Church of Satan is not an initiatory organization. It is our position that, for those with awareness, by living fully, you will have plenty of authentic initiatory experiences through the many avenues you explore. Hence, there is no need for such artificial posturing in our Church. No members required to move beyond registered membership. The first degree denoting active membership is for members who seek more involvement with the organization and other local members. The remaining degrees from the second to the fifth are not open to application or to request. The administration watches the progress of qualified members and may choose to grant recognition to outstanding individuals based on demonstrated excellence in the understanding and communication of satanic theory, coupled with significant potent practices which have produced superior achievements in the arena of the human endeavors. People naturally and quite organically rise to particular levels, and we may take note at our discretion. This is a meritocracy at work. This is a meritocracy at work. 
Here are the levels of our hierarchy, with the feminine form preceding. Registered member, no degree. Active member, Satanist, first degree. Witch slash warlock, second degree. Priestess slash priest is third degree. Magistra slash magister is fourth degree. Maga slash magus, fifth degree. We also have people who perform tasks for the organization, and they have descriptive titles such as administrator, agent, and grotto master. These responsibilities can be assumed by members with different degrees. High priest and high priestess are the top administrative titles and can be held only by fourth or fifth degree members. An individual who demonstrates a thorough grasp of the philosophy of the Church of Satan, skills in being able to communicate it, and would like to be a contact for local media and other interested parties, may be chosen to serve as an agent for the Church of Satan. Those who are appointed as agents must demonstrate that they have already been successfully making efforts to publicly clear up misconceptions regarding our philosophy. You will have seen many of our spokespersons in various media, so they may inspire you to follow their lead. The first advanced level one can attain is that of Witch for the ladies and Warlock for the gentlemen, our second degree. This is a position of esteem we offer to our members who have shown impeccable taste in self-presentation, rising to various occasions with exquisite aplomb. Naturally, naturally, these diabolists understand and apply the principles of satanic theory we all hold dear, moving through the world in such a way as to be exemplars of Satanism in action. They are accomplished in some chosen field and have garnered the respect of their peers. Their lifestyles are directed towards reduced contact with the human herd. In short, our witches and warlocks are up-and-coming achievers with personal panache. Panache. Those who hold the third through fifth degrees are all members of the priesthood of Mendes. Priesthood of Mendes. And individuals with these titles may be called reverend. These are the individuals who act as spokespersons for the philosophy of the Church of Satan. Members of the priesthood make up the Council of Nine, which is the ruling body of the organization, appointed by and responsible to the High Priest or Priestess. The Order of the Trapezoid consists of the individuals who assist in the administration of the Church of Satan. Members of our priesthood are people of distinguished accomplishment in the real world. They have mastered skills and have won peer acclaim, which is how they have attained their position, as above, so below. They are movers and shakers who are the core of our movement, while expected to be experts in communicating our philosophy. They are not required to speak on our behalf, and they may even choose to keep their affiliation and rank secret, secret, in order to better serve their personal goals, as well as those of our organization. You may encounter members of our priesthood and never know it. The fourth degree denotes consummate mastery of our theory and practice. And the fifth degree of satanic master is someone who has advanced the standing of Satanism itself. Why join? That depends on what being a member means to you personally. The basic reason is to show allegiance to the organization that embodies the philosophy that has galvanized your life, serving to clearly represent these concepts to our society as a darkly blazing beacon to all born Satanists. All born Satanists. Additionally, avenues may be provided for deeper involvement with members as means of working on projects of mutual interest. The Church of Satan, Church of Satan is emphatically not intended as a means for socializing. We expect our members to have the skills needed to fill those needs on their own. You can't be a master of lesser magic if you are a closet case. 
Ultimately, there are two perspectives which we address. Your self-image as to how successful you are living as a Satanist, measured by your degree of satisfaction with your life. And our evaluation of you as an exemplar of Satanism, which determines your degree level, measured by our exacting standards. If you choose to live as a Satanist, learn to satisfy yourself. We demand no other obligation. We demand no other obligation. That alone is a challenge few conquer. If you want to be recognized by the Church of Satan as role model, you must then satisfy our criteria. Those are in constant evolution and based on the context from which an individual arises to make himself known. The trend is for them to grow ever more stringent, forcing a higher quality from people who work towards elevation. There is no need for members to put themselves up for our judgment. You are all free to determine your own paths and standards of achievement. Self-satisfaction is an admirable goal in itself. However, if it is your desire to gain our recognition, you must prove your accomplishments to us. Let us know how you are doing, particularly since we are proud when meaningful goals are attained. There are misguided people who wish to establish membership in our elite group based on pretension and puffery. Satanism provides that leaky inner tube test to puncture those who inflate their egos with hot air instead of demonstrable deeds. If you are an outstanding individual, and so many who enter our dark portals are, then you will take your rightful place in a circle of your peers. Circle of your peers. We will appreciate you for your triumph. For some, it is worth the effort.